from Crema Media in Johannesburg, this is the Real Economy Report. Royal Buffer King Platinum has provided a tangible example of its philosophy of more than mining by partnering with the Northwest Department of Education to officially open two newly built primary and secondary schools at the Waterkloof Hills Estate in Rustenburg in the Northwest. Shannon Durehope attended the launch. Platinum Group Metals Mining Company Royal Buffer King Platinum or RB Plat has provided a tangible example of its philosophy of more than mining by partnering with the Northwest Department of Education to officially open two newly built primary and secondary schools at Waterkloof Hills Estate in Rustenburg in the Northwest. The two schools are conveniently located within the Waterkloof Hills Estate, RB Platt's flagship employee housing development in Rustenburg. The schools launched operations at the start of this year, with the primary school welcoming 470 learners across grade R to grade 4. The secondary school currently caters for grades 8 and 9, with an enrollment of 375 learners. Plans are in place for additional grades to be phased in over the next few years, ultimately accommodating about 2,000 learners from the estate and the neighbouring suburbs. The schools are fully equipped with state-of-the-art resources, with all classes having interactive smart boards, projectors and laptops for the educators. Additional facilities include a 1,100 capacity school hall, 256 parking bays, security gate houses and clear view perimeter fencing, a main playing field with multi-purpose courts and soccer fields, a multifunction room, science laboratories, designated eating halls, a sick bay, libraries and computer rooms. RB Platt has further pledged 2 million rand to equip the school's libraries with books and associated learning materials, as well as the library systems, access control equipment and laptops. And as part of our continued belief in the power of partnerships, RB Platt is further pledging to equip the school's library, this school's library, to the tune of approximately 2 million rand. This pledge will assist the library with books and associated learning materials as well as the library systems, access control equipment and laptops, all the technology that is the modern technology necessary for libraries will be installed. We also will be working as a company close to SGB of this school to ensure that what we have seen today, 10 years to come, will still be here. Mineral Resources and Energy Minister Gwede Mantashe, meanwhile, said the infrastructure would help to develop children and transform the future of the country. Here in the, in the mining industry, Daddy Bush, we have something called social labor plan. People don't understand this concept. It's a concept of mining companies investing uh, it's a social investment in communities where mining companies operate. It's a fee they pay for their survival and protection. It's not a favor. Mining companies must pay their social license to communities where they stay. The Department of Basic Education welcomed the construction of the schools with Basic Education Minister Angie Mocheka enthusing that the infrastructural improvements were in line with norms and standards. Again, in closing, I really wish to thank the Royal African Platinum, the unions that were part of this uh, process. Also, give my greatest gratitude to yourself, Premier and Mayor Wendy, for really working very well with uh, the partners that really came to our party. And I want to thank my colleague, Minister of Mineral Resources and Energy, thank you very much for the ongoing support, because it's not the first school that you've been handling with us, but standard saying you should just sustain it there now. RB Platt is proud to make a difference beyond mining by impacting on lives and contributing to future generations in the most impactful way possible through education. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy. And don't forget to listen to the audio version of our engineering news daily email newsletter.